for the Greek, uh, Greek team, and I'm going to present you the high speed scene. As the problem states, uh, if someone spins a compact disc very fast, and I mean really, really very fast, uh, it starts, starts to work. However, uh, one can observe that the work rotates with a different spin than the rotation, that the rotation field of the circle, of the point on the circle. Um, and the problem uh, asks how do these two rotational velocities relate to each other. Okay, here, here's the table of contents. Okay, what we actually, what, what we actually did. Uh, we used the uh, theory of elasticity to predict what would be the the surface, uh, what would be the motion of the surface uh, in high speed, in high speed uh, rotational speed of the CD. Uh, in that way, we found the equation, the equations of the deformation of the CD, and uh, we tried to, co to connect the rotational speed of the CD with the speed of the um, with the um, um, deformation on the with the warp on the surface of the CD. Okay. Okay, uh, some assumptions first. We assume that our CD is a 2D surface um, on the Higgs plane, H1 plane, and that the CD is uh, isotropic and homogeneous, like all the uh, The angular velocity uh, is omega. Uh, with bolt, I <coughs> we, we used bolt to show the vectors and uh, regular letters to show the components of the vectors. And uh, we, uh, we assume that the displacement vector is of the form on the, it has a displacement on the R um, component in cylindrical um, coordinates and the Z. I mean, it, that's kind of um, <coughs> intuitive. I mean, it can't really have a displacement on the theta uh, component. It goes uh, of axisymmetral symmetry. Okay, this is the field equations of, uh, for, el uh, for elasticity. It's a generalized uh, Newton equation, then the Lame, and uh, lambda, and uh, call that me. I think it's a universal. Okay. Yeah, uh, but I think it's universal. Um, a Lambda's constant, and the, the delta is the current curve, current curve delta, where rho is the density of the CD. Okay, this equation we do the form expressions for our uh, problem. <coughs> uh, ah, okay. Now, to the previous equations, we can actually um, solve them analytically. Uh, the solutions are of this kind. Uh, with, uh, with J, I represent uh, the Bessel of order uh, 1. Um, sorry, it's a typo here. The square root is the r is not into the square root. I'm sorry for that. In both expressions. Um, okay, and j k is the vessel of uh, k order. Um, and okay, the other type. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, to really solve this problem, we must uh, put some boundary conditions, and uh, one of uh, one set of them is that RCD, and in the video, but uh, both in how it is the problem represented, is um, connected to a road. I mean, it uh, rotates around the road. So, uh, in the and of course, RCD has a hole on the center. So, uh, in the radius of the of the hole, uh, the displacement vectors, the displacement vector, the components of the displacement vector should be zero. It, we can have a displacement there. Uh, we can have a displacement there. Uh, because the road doesn't uh, make the CD have no displacement on this side. So, uh, yeah. uh, using these uh, uh, boundary conditions, and especially, second one, we come to the next slide. OK, uh, from the equation 8, which is a boundary condition for the z component of the displacement vector, which, if you remember, we called it w. Uh, I showed the w. Okay, go one back. W, that is yeah. the, uh, the, z, uh, the zeta component uh, 
of the displacement vector. We obtain that. Uh, I can show you that. Um, and this is a Bessel uh, Forder 3. Oh, if you see here it's right, you know the top of the dipole. Uh, we obtain uh, this Bessel and we said that uh, this Bessel should be zero and we used the first zero of the Bessel function for uh, R equals R inside. The R, in is, R inside is the radius of the whole of the CD. Um, I don't know if you know, but uh, the first zero is about 6.38. That's the first uh, uh, zero of the basic function of order uh, three. If we um, make the function, it's kind of like that. If I'm not wrong. That's the basic three. And now it's six. Point so we derive this uh, equation for the we derive this equation for the um, two velocities. Uh, as you can see, omega is the rotational velocity of the CD, and uh, small omega uh, is uh, or w small w um, is the um, uh, phase velocity of the work on the CD. Uh, okay. okay, now, SD is made primarily all CDs by polycarbonate plastic. Okay, that's quite general, but uh, it's okay for our development. Okay, according <coughs> to bibliography typical values uh, for the mechanical properties of this material, the density is 100 to uh, uh, 1,200 kilos per square meter. This is the young modulus and the Poisson ratio for the polycarbonate plastic. And as we know, this is the connection between uh, Lamme constants and the young modulus and the Poisson ratio uh, between, uh, and the, between young modulus and the Poisson ratio. And using these typical values, we found these uh, values for the Lamme constants. Okay, now some experimental process and simulations. Uh, we use uh, Mathematica to simulate uh, the rotation of the CD. What we actually do, did is that we used the analytical uh, values, uh, the analytical solutions we found for the displacement uh, equations, and we put it on Mathematica. And uh, that's uh, actually we had uh, that's a uh, simulation of Mathematica gave. Actually, it was a, a GIF, a, a GIF uh, video, you know. Did, but uh, we had some problem with the laptop, so I put some uh, pictures of it. In. <coughs> okay, uh, something more that we do, uh, it's not actually a problem, it's not a question of the problem, is that with the solutions we found, we actually not predict, but show that also the solutions will become um, exponentially grow, so a CD really can uh, break. If we uh, um, if we um, grow the uh, the velocity, the rotation velocity, really uh, big, we make it really big. Next slide. Okay, that's a uh, one picture of the simulation. I'm trying to uh, give a profile of it, so we can actually see that the simulation is really good approximation of what we see from the video of the problem and the rea the reality, at least. Mm -hmm. That's another picture of this breaking. Okay, some results and conclusions. Uh, the, the question of the problem was to, uh, to relay the velocity of the elastic wave and the rotation of the velocity of the CD. We, I think we showed, uh, we did that, and uh, with that relation, uh, I again state that omega, big omega, is uh, uh, the rotational speed of the CD, and uh, small omega is the fa phase velocity actually of the work of the CD. Um, and uh, it, it, we ran a simulation. We saw that uh, with that uh, so with these solutions, we saw that uh, it's close to what we see in the video. Okay, some reasons. Okay, that's it.
Hi, uh, my name is Victor, and I will be opposing uh, problem number 15, high-speed CD for Team Chalmers. Uh, this is the problem description, uh, as we saw earlier. It's uh, basically when we uh, rotate the CD uh, extremely fast, we can see a warp spin, and then describe these two rotational velocities and compare them. Uh, yes, and this was their interpretation. Uh, and then we go into their theory, and what was good was they used the elastic theory and they found an analytic solution. However, they assumed homogeneity uh, of the disk and they neglect, neglected the actors. Uh, this is an um, aerodynamic, aeroelastic pro problem, which, well, the airflow is extremely important. Um, uh, the, um, what was the uh, oh, and they doesn't consider uh, their work in, uh, in a large... Uh, okay. and so the good part was, they did a simulation at least. <coughs> they did no real experiments. Uh, and they, again, they did not uh, include inflows from surrounding air in their simulation. Uh, and they did not consider other parts from the seed than the plastic parts. They had, it's uh, uh, usually, a reflective uh, material on top, which is aluminium, and what, it is a sensitive uh, system. Uh, so these parts do play a part. Uh, uh, this was lacking units in the figures, the units on the axis of the figures. Um, they did not consider the material breakdown, because if, if you saw the video that was linked indexed uh, uh, problem description, we can see the disk breaking. Uh, close to these warping, so it probably is good to consider at least the material breakdown. Uh, there was no mention of limitations of your simulation, uh, and there was no validation of simulation of theory. So, what I would like to discuss uh, in our discussion later is uh, first literature and previous work, what you have uh, seen, um, and then why did you did not consider coupling with the R uh, and verification of results yeah, because as we had a video uh, high speed from a high speed camera you could have tried at least to validate with that video um, and uh, then uh, uh, what would you have done if you would have done experiment experiments uh, what would put it in your setup uh, if, if you want to do a, a real validation of this uh, theory. Uh, so, if we go into discussion uh, a bit earlier uh, and go into literature and previous work, uh, this is a, a big problem in industry because uh, saw disks, uh, CDs, and other types of uh, disks rotate to a fast speed, and it's a problem when they start to wobble. So, there is a, a huge problem, and it's been uh, uh, Tried to be solved earlier. Did you see anything? Sorry, sorry. Uh, could we? Uh, this is the, uh, based on uh, the bad problems you see of my presentation, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, could you adjust with two? With number two? No, first. Okay, uh, a little bit of a well. I didn't exactly uh, understand what did you ask me about. Well, well there's a lot, a lot of literature describing this problem uh, of this particular problem. Uh, you know, uh, to the... Uh, uh, having scene. a disc rotate and then start to wobble or wobble. Hollow it. Uh, sorry, uh, with a... An, an annular uh, disc. Holding it. Yeah, annular disc. Sorry? Annular disc, okay. which... Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, actually, what, uh, on, based on the previous works, not on discs, but uh, basically I found works on uh, cylinders all, uh, with a hole uh, in the center. Um, Basically, we base that to these make cylinders as they are probably thick. Sorry, S the thin cylinders was was the height. Yeah, yeah exactly. Much what we did, uh, than the, the yeah, yeah. but uh, as we can, uh, as we all understand, yeah. it's not really uncorrelated problems. Uh, we, what I actually we can do is uh, to use the same techniques, but in a two D uh, in a two D system to but reproduce. Uh, this uh, does the cylinder wobble in the same way if it's thick as if you have a thin CD? 
this, 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 the problem is that this wobble would us fix it yeah, yeah, but wobble the same way. Yeah, but the techniques of the elasticity, the mathematical techniques of the elasticity are the same. Yes, if it doesn't, uh, but, but the dimensions is entirely different. So, so yeah, but, but what you actually say is that the dimensions of a, of a, of a cylinder problem and the CD disks, a CD, a CD problem, are different. Uh, yes. Yeah, but the te mathematical techniques to... Yes, the elasticity of a rotating angular object is an axisymmetric problem. Uh, so, yes, the, if it doesn't wobble and it is, isn't coupled to airflow, I would say it's the same, but they're not the same problems as this is an airflow coupled problem. Uh, so, well, at, at least you have looked at the elasticity of an uh, angular but, object. Okay, yeah. The, the mathematical techniques, I don't understand why is the problem in the mathematical techniques. If you uh, take a problem in 3D, in three dimensions, and, uh, and you put it, you use the, uh, the techniques to two dimensions, I mean, okay, with all the symmetries we have. But you know, well, obviously, you can't have a large uh, cylinder with a hole, and it can't swap the same way as this. You can't yeah, have because a the symmetries are different. That's, that's magnitudes larger than the. the uh, thickness of the cylinder. So, so okay. um, we, we, we can continue to the uh, uh, consideration uh, as, as far of, the, of the air. Yes. Yeah. I, I think that uh, I don't think that uh, it plays so much role uh, in the. Okay, so that's the way I think of it. I don't think it plays much so much role in uh, when you rotate the disc. In a, I, I, th I think it goes about 380 rounds per second. Yeah, I don't think it really so much, it doesn't really have much of a role. Why it, it has lost? Okay, so, so the, well, then, uh, if, if you spin the CD in the vacuum or something else, uh, so, so uh, if, if we, now we can match these two, okay. these two, two and three, they, they are what, so you say that, that it isn't uh, dependent on the thickness or something else, but how can you be sure? Have you any way validated this? Have you validated your theory to reality? Uh, as, you, as you can see from the, okay, you didn't see right now, but from the simulation, uh, the, uh, the, this, uh, the, uh, the work that we found in the simulation was actually really close to the one we saw in the video. So how can you be sure that it's so close? Uh, you didn't present your results from the work. No, we are not sure. From, this, from the CD video. video, uh, yeah, yeah. CD video. But uh, we actually have uh, measured the, we used this uh, the equation and the, the last equation we found oh. to Sorry. measure from the video the phase velocity of the the base velocity of the wave on and the and what, what, uh, what uh, frequency was that uh, wobble in the video? What? Okay, in the video you said you had... Uh, I'm Matovato from the Totten team and I delivered this problem. So, um, so we... And with a look to the solution of this problem, uh, which was which started from a theoretical and um, <coughs> analytical model, uh, in order to achieve a close a, a close analytic solution to the problem uh, that was asked in the statement. One second. Okay. Um, it was used uh, at the linear elasticity theory with uh, with some hypothesis that was uh, the homogeneity and the and the and the isotropic surface. So it was a two D problem. Uh, it was uh, also proposed a condition to see uh, the breaking of the CD, uh, and then it was it was shown a simulation of of these dynamics in order uh, to uh, to see if uh, if the theoretical model. Uh, was a, was a good approximation of the reality. Then uh, we have 
with a look to Levante. We we also we've also seen a uh, an opposing by the Sweden team uh, that that pointed out some interesting points. Uh, for example, uh, the role of DR, uh, which which we also think uh, uh, could be an important point in the discussion, uh, that was uh, neglected in the in the model of the reporter, and uh, the opponent team thinks thinks it's really important in finding a natural solution to the problem. Uh, they also asked. The to clarify which are the limitation uh, in, in making such assumption of the model and, and also in making, in making such a simulation uh, and also uh, ask for more reference in the literature because, because they think this problem uh, had, had a lot of bibliographic base. Uh, then, then we've also uh, assisted to uh, um, to discussion which the main points um, where uh, the, the consideration of a bidimensional model instead, uh, uh, instead of a three-dimensional model with a, with a cylinder with a little light and which is the role of this height and then, uh, and, and then uh, we can also move to more interesting point in our discussion like, uh, uh, like the role of the, the hair flow uh, which, which was a point of the opponent that, that, that we had time to, that we had not time to discuss, uh, and also, we, and also, uh, I'd like to suggest as a reviewer to discuss which could be the effect of using other materials in this problem. Uh, what are the conditions required for the phenomenon to happen in relation to the material used? Uh, and also some consideration about uh, the wave phenomenon in the material. For example, um, uh, the modes of the phenomenon and how can we study the resonance, for example, by uh, applying an external force. Uh, so, um, I'd like to start the discussion uh, from the role of the airflow. Uh, I want to ask before to the opponent what, what, what he thinks the role of the hair can be. Well, the, the, the role of the air is that without the air, there would be no wobbling. Because if you spin a disc, there are all the forces in the radial direction. So it has to come in from somewhere else, an instability in the system, which then starts to create these wobbles and enlarge them. Because if you only look at the forces without any instabilities or uh, airflow, uh, uh, any I mean, if the airflow doesn't come in, then why does this wobble start? Okay, uh, I, I would like to add the opinion of the reporter on this point. Uh, okay, um, I, I think that uh, the air doesn't play really a role. I mean, uh, a CD can produce in not only a CD, not only a CD, every, uh, even a cylinder or. Uh, well, but yeah, yeah, but uh, to, the, uh, to, the, uh, to, uh, to the surface can produce such waves, uh, such waves from, uh, from the basis of elastic, from the elasticity. Could I ask in, in your simulation, what did you put in to, start, to make the wobble start in your simulation? Why did you have wobble in your simulation? Yeah, the, the what, what did, did I? Because in your simulation we can yeah. see the, the warping. Yeah, uh, uh, because we, what did we do in the simulation, what we did in the simulation was to um, load actually the the solutions we found, the, so the solution we found with, um, if you notice, it was a um, vessel uh, um, in the way the actually a in the way, and we plotted on a 2D surface of a radius uh, of ra an outer and inner radius. Okay, I'm sorry, but time is running. I think uh, its point was more on uh, uh, is. Is, was your simulation time dependent uh, and yeah yeah, yeah. And it started from a uh, from an initial conditions that was a uh, that was a uh, completely linear with z with zero displacement and how does the hobble start in the simulation? What, what does make it start? Okay, I see. Uh, in the simulation, we plotted the solution. We found so so, so, the, so, so it, it wasn't a time dependent simulation. Uh, could you show the, the solutions? It yeah. was a time dependent solution, but it was it wasn't start from um, 
It was actually this plotted on a 2D surface. Or as you see, this is time dependent. Yeah, so, so, yeah, 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 but so basically, but, 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 what, but what I think it was the problem is that uh, uh, he thinks you must start with initial conditions with zero. Yeah, I know. And, that's yeah, 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 and, and uh, no, from this point of view, it wasn't uh, it wasn't such uh, uh, initial conditions for the time. Okay, uh, yeah. then 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 we can move to the point of the uh, of the resonances. How can you suggest? Uh, an experimental way to see the resonances of the phenomenon. Let the report an experimental step. step? Yeah, yeah, an experimental step to see the resonance of the phenomenon. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, uh, obviously the, the most obvious answer would be to actually have a, um, a motor would, uh, yeah. which would... Uh, yeah, let's uh, assume that you... But okay, if I don't. Uh, what I actually uh, is a good idea to do is uh, make CDs of a more elastic material. Uh, so, uh, the discussion. Yeah. so uh, that would need a uh, more, uh, far less uh, rotational speed <coughs> to see those routes. Okay, what is the opinion on this point? Uh, because we see the, the, the material plays a role on the lambda cost. Okay. About uh, having a more elastic pro uh, part or generally just having a motor and, and spinning it? Which, which part is it? Or the, the Okay, I was asking, how can you study the resonance of the phenomenon? Well, obviously we well, want to spin it. Be short, be short, because, because there are two. So, so we, we spin it fast, mm -hmm. and then we measure either, we measure density with a uh, laser, and then uh, uh, we measure the difference in uh, the reflection's uh, position, or you have a high-speed camera, or to measure the reflection of... Okay, okay, so, uh, so just try to study the phenomenon. Uh, one sec, one sec, there is a question from the team. Uh, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, you mentioned that when you do not have air and you have an uh, elastic material, yes. the only forces can be... Uh, only, um, uh, only forces can be acted radially it, it, and it, not on the, on without, the other plane? Without instabilities, then if you have something spinning, then the centripetal force goes radially. Yes, yeah, but also you have the tensorial forces because of the elasticity of the CD, which uh, if the CD is more hard to go upward, the energy yes. from the spinning will deform it on the G-axis. Well, it's not the perturbation of the air, it's the property of the material. But the, the, the forces will go inwards unless you have something to start the yeah. It's a continuum, it's not the point. You have all the forces acting at the same time on the plane. Yeah. Okay. So it, it, it was, it the forces in the disk is either yeah. radial or uh, they are circular. Well, you, you have the tensile forces in uh, a circle, which goes like that, and then you have the radial forces, but neither of them in, is in a separate direction. Okay, okay uh, a question from... No? Any other uh, question from the teams? I'd like to state on the experiment okay. about the slow mo uh, camera, slow yes. motion camera. Uh, yeah, actually, this is the most profound way to do the experiment. But um, if you remember from the actual numbers for the rotational speed, because about I think you need a camera about 170,000 fps. No, no, no. Uh, well, the speed breaks at 30,000 yeah, 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 yeah. rpm. To, to re let me, second, let me end and then uh, to reproduce uh, the phenomenon to the end till the end. Well, you, you need such high speed camera. They use that speed camera to observe the breaking of the disk and the yeah, bifurcation yeah, of the... I said to reduce the phenomenon to the end. Yeah, but, but that's not relevant to the problem. You want to observe the wobbling, the, the aeroelastic factor of the disk. Yeah, yeah. But so, to how much do you estimate the uh, integration of the camera should be for, well, for measures of the phenomenon? As you can see in the video, it bro broke at 30,000 RPM. Which and we could see that the volume was less. So let's say we want something about 60,000 RPM. That would be uh, that's only 1,000 uh, hertz uh, if you look at the, the frames frame. per second. So say okay, say 2,000 frames per second to observe the uh, 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 modes. But you can do it with a laser, and then you don't need this high speed camera, which costs. Something. Okay, one second. There is a question from the team. This is a question from Bob 
uh, let test queue um, should be interesting to use maybe a soft materials in order to see um, this phenomenon easier with lower speed. Can I ask the report? Uh, okay. Yeah, exactly. This is what I exactly proposed uh, beforehand. Uh, which you could use uh, soft material with elastic properties uh, necessary for the. Uh, and that way you could actually measure this uh, phenomenon to. Um, Look, uh, fewer uh, to a um, smaller speed. Uh, to smaller speed. Okay. Uh, opinion of the opponent. Uh, could you repeat the question? Uh, yes, sorry. If uh, to be useful in order to study the phenomenon, use a uh, softer material instead of the plastic of the CD. Oh yes, because the CD is somewhat problematic as it breaks mm -hmm. shortly after this effect occurs. So you might want to look at something which has either lower um, Young's modulus or elasticity uh, or something which does not uh, uh, break uh, as early. Uh, and it, it's similar effect, but we might also want to study a CD because it's an extremely sensitive problem uh, for uh, a lot of conditions. Okay, could I say something more? Oh, uh, I'm afraid yeah, the time is up. You can uh, some concrete remarks. Or Okay, uh, thank you all for your uh, responses and uh, the opponent and the viewer. Uh, what we actually did in this problem was to study mathematically the wave phenomena that uh, happen on a high speed rotational CD. Uh, what we think we tried to do was to uh, reproduce, to find the analytical solutions to this problem, and to reproduce uh, this uh, problem with some simulations. We have some disagreement on that. Uh, the opponent, the, the viewer, had a uh, really good uh, insight of the problem. They uh, good, uh, made good uh, contributions to the discussion. And I think that's all. Thank you all for your attention. Thank you. Uh, let's go. We have six minutes for questions from the jury, if any. And I see there are plenty of things. Okay, so I have a question to Matteo. Uh, what did you have in mind when you brought up the uh, question of the resonance? How, how studying the resonance adds uh, to uh, the solution of the original problem? Uh, okay, um, my, my idea was the one to add, to think to add a force on the phenomenon, uh, so, uh, so like we can, we can beat on the CD during the phenomenon. Uh, we can use a softer material in order to not have any breaking problems. And, and then we can see uh, if, um, if these waves propagating on the disks uh, are, are dependent uh, of, on some characteristic of the different material used. And that's something that, that we tried in order to find dependence of, uh, of, such, of such waves propagating on the material. Uh, and and the, and the velocity of, uh, of these waves propagating. Yes, um, for the opponent, it was considered you, you have the formula here and the, the reporter took k guilt equal 3 in the rest of the, of the experiment he was doing, if I'm correct. Uh, why, is, why is k equal 3 considered here and not 5, 7, 2? Well, well probably he saw that in the video that they showed, it was the O3 mode he saw. Uh, and in fact, all the literature I've seen, uh, experimentally at least, they've seen that the one that occurs uh, mostly is the O3 mode. So I think he was right in using O3 mode. I don't think he, he motivated us. Okay. Uh, Did I ask the same question? Yes. Okay. Thank you for that question. Um, you, uh, I don't remember if, you, if it was you or the other guy, but uh, in, at the start of the, of the opening question, they asked me for the other boundary condition. Uh, the other boundary condition um, okay. uh, is trying to be short, please. Okay, it comes from, okay. comes from the Lame equation, uh, Lame equation mm -hmm. and it gives uh, how the um, uh, derivative of the W component on the outer radius should uh, come. Mm -hmm. um, from uh, uh, it come it, um, it um, from this mathematical analysis, we will have two equations with, um, uh, and the k will be an unknown. And if you make it, that's why we, I did them put it under presentation because it's a whole of mathematical uh, um, practice. <coughs>
uh, calculation. Uh, it, it predicts that k should be three around three. That's why I put it three or not. I, I know it's uh, I didn't put it in the representation, but the main mathematical relations. All right, let's move on, please. Okay, uh, very. Uh, question uh, to the reporter. Uh, let's imagine we are on, on the moon and uh, would we observe the work uh, on the moon? Uh, with, uh, from the analysis we did and... Uh, we did, okay. Yeah. Uh, and to the opponent and to the reviewer. Would we uh, observe the work on the moon? No. Yeah. And the reviewer? Yes or no? In no. absence of air. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Where, where, where is uh, no atmosphere on the moon? I, I mean, I mean yeah, yeah. that. Hmm? I, I, I don't think we will see the moon. We would. I don't think we would. Ah, I don't. No, I've got more okay. to go to prove it if you want. Ah. Uh, ah, no, 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 I understand you. No. I have the answers. Thank you. Uh, more questions? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where is, uh, where is in your formulas, uh, thickness of the disk? Thickness. 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 Uh, no, no, no. Where? Uh, it's a 2D surface. <coughs> it has no, we thought uh, we assumed that it has no thickness. 2D surface. We have thickness of this uh, sheet of yeah, paper. Yeah, but uh, uh, I understand what you say. But can pass of the minimum. What is the thickness of your disk in your formula? Where? We assume, for the mathematical analysis, that the disk is a 2D surface. Uh, two dimensional. Uh, two dimensional. And you're not with two two, two dimensional. Without, without thickness? Yeah. Why? Because, uh, okay, I can answer that. Uh, because uh, you take a stick, it's about uh, 12 uh, centimeters the diameter. The diameter. Okay? And the width of the CD is about uh, no more than one millimeter. No, I think no. And for that, rotational speed. Uh, yeah. Could I comment on that? Where you have the, the thickness, you present the density of the disk. So if you use 2D, then the disk has no mass. Yes. Because you present the density in uh, 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 mass per volume area. Yeah, but uh, volume. All right, we have uh, one more Sorry. question. Uh, the the job question. If we uh, change uh, CD disk from uh, to, to Blu-ray disk, uh, does, does it change in the uh, sorry, sorry, if we change the CD to? Change the CD to Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could you define what is Blu-ray? I'm not really sure what is this. A Blu-ray disk. Uh, what's the difference? I don't know. I don't know what's the difference between a Blu-ray and a disk. I don't know what the, what's the Blu-ray. <laughs> Answer is no difference. Yeah, I don't think there's a difference, yeah. but I don't really we know see, what we see. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, we are